Picture the scene. It's autumn. The kids are back at school, the heating's been tentatively nudged on, and Jack Frost has already nipped a few noses. Trees are turning glorious shades of amber, crimson and gold, and you're reaching for your scarf. But then, the sun comes out, temperatures rise, and it feels like summer's made a surprise comeback. What's going on? Today we're diving into the curious case of autumnal warmth. Why does it happen? And is it becoming more common? Let's be honest, if we're talking summer-like warmth, I'm not staying cooped up in the studio. And this is purely for scientific purposes, of course. Now you may have heard the phrase Indian summer being tossed around when describing warm spells during autumn. But here's the thing, it's not an official meteorological term. And in fact, organizations such as ourselves avoid using it. The origins of the term are pretty murky. Some historians suggest it stems from a period of warm weather in North America, which allowed indigenous people to continue hunting before winter set in. The first recorded use was in a 1778 letter by French American farmer, John de Crevacher, who described a warm spell in the Mohawk Valley. The term made its way to the UK in the 1800s, but the idea of a warm spell in autumn wasn't new. Across Europe, people refer to St. Martin's summer, which tied in with the feast day on November the 11th. Despite these poetic names, there's no solid evidence to suggest that we had warm spells in autumn at the same time each year. So what causes warm weather during autumn? Well, let's break it down. Usually at this time of year, the jet stream, that fast ribbon of air moving higher in the atmosphere, strengthens. That's because the temperature contrast between the cooler poles and the warmer equator increases. This usually leads to some wet and windy weather for the UK. But sometimes the jet stream buckles or meanders, a bit like a lazy river. And when that happens, it can lead to high pressure building. And high pressure means the air is sinking, which then suppresses the cloud and leads to clear skies and sunshine. Additionally, if the high is positioned just right, we could be dragging in our air from the south or southeast, and so we could get some very warm air from the near continent or even North Africa. And here's a bonus bit. Sea surface temperatures around the UK are at their highest during early autumn, having absorbed all that summer heat. And that heat can then help boost our air temperatures. So autumn warmth does happen, and it's all thanks to a wobbly jet stream, a well-placed high pressure, and also some leftover summer warmth. Here's where things get a bit serious. Thanks to climate change, warm spells during autumn are becoming more intense and more frequent. And so something that used to be a bit of a surprise is now becoming increasingly common. In fact, the UK's top 10 warmest Octobers on record have all occurred since the turn of the millennium. So whilst a warm, sunny October day at the beach may sound lovely, it's also a stark reminder of the shifts in our climate. So whilst you may only think of them as a chance to sneak in one more beach trip before the year's out, the science behind these warm autumn days is fascinating and increasingly important to understand. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for more weather wonders, and let me know in the comments what's your favorite thing about autumn. See you next time.